So the Pavedon system converts the weight of your footsteps into electrical power. So every time you walk on our floor, your steps create electricity. So the more steps you make, the more power we can create. So Pavedon works really well where there's a lot of people walking. So if you think about a typical city environment, uh, public realm, subways, airports, even stadiums. So it's one of the hardest engineering challenges in the world to put a product in the ground where there's going to be significant um, environmental challenges, lots of water ingress, um, fatigue resistance is really challenging too. So we had to go through a process that was uh, involved lots of testing, lots of material selection, lots of different kind of insights to allow us to make the product as durable as possible. So some of the components that we use within a pave gen are ones exposed to the elements. So stainless steel, although it's difficult to machine and expensive, it's the only material we can use to give us the right finish we want and a finish that will look great in 10 years time. I think that some of the mild steel applications with the right heat treatment can give it great levels of performance in terms of how hard it can be and what it can do. Things like wear and durability um, and obviously environmental performance are really key to our decisions around what material we use and what finishes we apply to those materials. So a smart city is one where there's seamless communications, interoperability between buildings, sensor networks give me a real clear understanding of what's going on in, in a city in real time. It's also about decentralised power networks as well and having power when and where you need it. So Pagan offers a unique energy solution but also a data solution that can plug straight in to the connectivity within the urban environment of these future cities. The pavement technology is being used by the federal US government, by Google, Cisco, some of the largest real estate groups including Westfield uh, are using that technology. Now it's been deployed across Africa um, into a favela in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Um, we've got installations in Korea, Japan, Australia and also Europe. There's lots of interest there and then it's going into the wider real estate retail areas that really are about experience and people within them.